want to congratulate Montana on a, on a great year. Uh, they're a very good team. They have players everywhere. It was pretty evident on film getting prepared for them. Um, a lot of the same guys we played last year in the first game of the year, and then a lot of the same kids that beat us here two years ago. So, um, you know, hats off to them for a really good year. Brian does a great job uh, with his group. I uh, was really proud of our group, the way we came out. We talked about having some poise early. We hadn't played in 13 days, and we're just I was a little nervous. We were going to be throwing it into the stands for, for three minutes uh, until we settled down. But I thought, um, you know, I thought Schulte was really steady early. Uh, that helped us out quite a bit. And I thought Abby Draper was fantastic tonight uh, in a lot of different ways. So uh, did a great job on the glass. That was an area we really talked about. They're usually a really good rebounding team. Uh, to beat them by 20 on the glass uh, in a team effort uh, was really, really good. Jory, what was this environment like tonight to play in? A lot of fun. I mean, just walking out there and, and seeing, you know, really full stands. Um, you know, that's what it, it, women's basketball right now is on fire everywhere. It's fun. to. I don't even know if I've watched the men's game. I watched KU lose the other day, win and lose. That's the only two men's games that I've watched. Uh, our TV in my house has been on the women's tournament. Um, I'll be honest, that's not always the case. Um, but it just, it's just, it's really good right now, and it's a lot of fun. And for us to be able to create the things that, you know, some of our kids get to see on TV, um, for them to be able to play, you know, at the Summit League Championship, at SDSU in that last game, at Iowa State, at Drake, um, you know, against Creighton, those environments make it, uh, you know, everything's just amped up. And for us to be able to do that on our home floor uh, was awesome. That's something we've been hoping for. Um, and hopefully we can create those opportunities to do that, uh, you know, much more. It's the first, you know, postseason victory, you know, other than the Summit Tournament, the Division One era. I mean, you know, as you kind of build the program, what does that mean, something? Yeah, I mean, there's there's stepping stones, Eric, to getting to the level we want to get to. And, and you know, I told our team this may not be the tur the tournament that you want to be playing on, but it's the one we're in. And it's the one we, um, you know, got invited to and, and earned the right to play in. And we're going to take every opportunity to do the best we can in it. Uh, this is a chance for us. We just talked. We're going to watch film tomorrow on this game. This is a terrific opportunity for us to keep getting better, for our young players to keep learning. Um, there's plenty from this game we're going to be able to learn from and get better. And not a lot of teams right now uh, in the country at this time of the year are getting to do that uh, through real games like we are. What's been the last week and a half like? How much have you gone on and off just trying to figure out when you were playing? Yeah, it's been, um, it's been hard because you don't know. You know you try, usually we have a routine. We're pretty specific in our routine going up to game day. And then when you don't know when that is, it's – it makes it difficult. We've tried to balance um, some hard days and, and scrimmaging and playing each other and playing our practice guys with some just light shooting days, um, you know, mixing in our lifts and just trying to stay, you know, in shape but also recover from a long season. I think the hardest thing is just keeping your edge um, against each other. You're not wanting to hurt each other this time of year and those kind of things. So the physicality, the box outs. Those kind of things are things you worry about when you have that much time off. But I thought we did a really good job today handling that. Other monster game. Just describe what she's what she's done over the last month for you. Yeah, I think I think you can just see her confidence growing. She's finding opportunities where she knows she's she's pretty good and and has worked on some things. And then she's realizing when those opportunities are coming about in the game and, and taking advantage of them. I mean, you can see her out there. She can jump with anybody. Um, her ability to finish has gotten really, really good. Early in the year, her field goal percentage was pretty low. She just wasn't, you know, finishing at a high level. And if you look at her last two months, I mean, she's probably shooting close to 60% from the field uh, if you just go the last eight weeks. So uh, it's been fun to watch. She's, she's earned it, though, because she's put in the work to do it. If you're worried about being sharp at 17 and 18 from the line, it's pretty sharp. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, we'll, I was worried, Jeff, and, and maybe I didn't need to be, but uh, – we did a great job stepping up. We shoot free throws every day. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. In the environment in the shack, I mean, I think it was nothing that we couldn't have asked for. So i um, thankful for the Fargo community for showing out and showing your support. Um, it was just an amazing environment to play in. So I'm just super grateful that we had that experience and we were able to get it done for um, everyone that showed out tonight.
How much did that help tonight, do you think? I mean, they, having the home court advantage, I think, is huge. We always play better at the Shack, personally. Um, not only the crowd, but also just knowing the court and like the lights and stuff. So um, for us to be able to get a home game for this first round of the playoffs, um, it's amazing. So hopefully we might be able to get an, another one. Are you worried about just being sharp after all those two weeks? I mean, 13 days since playing. I mean, was, was early on, was that a concern for you personally? Um, I don't really think so. Uh, we, we stayed sharp in practice for these two weeks that we had off. Um, we just we we're big competitors and we, we play hard against each other in practice and I think that just helps helps us overall. You're from Iowa. You've seen this Caitlin stuff and all the phenom phenomena going on. And it's nice to get a little slice of slice of it for you guys. You know, experience that. Yeah, I mean it's always fun to play um, basketball in March and uh, the the longer we can play, the better. So I think it's just really fun to keep keep on going. Let the South Dakota State game sit. Did you let it go right away? Has been sitting in your in your mind for the last two weeks. Um, I think I kind of let it go kind of fast. I mean, obviously, like that's something that we were looking forward and we really wanted to get done this year. Um, but I think we also knew that there was a good chance that we were going to play playoff basketball no matter what. Um, so we just kind of turned the page and we knew we got to set our mindset again to. Um, just the next game. So obviously that stung a lot, but um, I don't think we let it linger too much and we kind of use that as fuel. Gabby going out there playing that, you no, know, she couldn't stop her, her mouth was still bleeding and still going out there battling down low tonight. Yeah, I mean, she's a true <laughs> competitor. I mean, she said she was swallowing blood and I think if I had a mouthful of blood, I don't know what I'd be doing. Um, but no, props to her for continuing to show out and tough battle tonight. Had a great matchup against their five. Um, she played great and um, I think we had a great team game tonight. Do you know what happened? Did you get hit or what? Do you know what happened? Yeah, I was getting an offensive rebound and I went to go bring it down and I smacked the girl's shoulder. <laughs> so. That'll do it. <laughs> you were swallowing blood for like how long did this last? Oh, uh, probably like the whole third quarter. <laughs> Until it got stopped, but. Okay. Well, you mentioned it. How much, how badly would you want another game here to, to potentially play Minnesota again here? I mean, I think we would give anything to play another game in the shack. I mean, you know, I already touched on it before. We play so well here. Um, the crowd was phenomenal tonight. So to get another crowd like that, um, I think that only helps us in the future. Um, so to be able to potentially play in the shack, I mean, that's just an amazing experience. So if we're able to do that, that'll be an amazing experience for us. The first, you know, win in the WNIT type tournament, you know, other than the conference tournament division, what does that mean to, to get a win in a, a postseason tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always good to keep on playing. Um, I think this is like our first WNIT win in the Division Div Division One era in postseason. So um, that's really big for us, and um, it just shows how our team is moving forward every year, and um, we're continuing to get better, and we're just big competitors. So. You mentioned there's only a handful of teams still playing at this point. I mean, just and you're one of them. Can you describe that? I mean, it's it's a great feeling. I mean, we just want to keep playing one game at a time and just going all the way to the end. So.